Morning from South Cove. Mark and I, right there. Nope, you're not seeing double. It's just two Jackson big rigs. Uh, I got the motor with the auto boat, and he doesn't have a motor yet. But I'm sure after he sees the performance today, he'll be he'll be soon to get one. Anyways, I'm in compliance with Lake Mead National Recreation Area filming guidelines. Let's not worry about that. I think it's going to be a good day because I can already hear fish splashing. I'm going to head up towards uh, Government Wash. Anyways, I got a little, a little something, a little something new showing up today or tomorrow. Something I've never had before, but something I've always wanted to try. So uh, we'll be uh, testing the seaworthiness of a new brand here in a couple days. But this is the only day off that it's not going to be ripping wind. This is like calm before the storm, and it is dead calm out here. So stick around. This one, this one's probably going to be uh, good. Maybe good. Hopefully good. Definitely informative. I'm gonna find some fish today. Coming into the end of the wash here. There's gizzard shad everywhere. And they're, you know, they're jumping. And it looks like a striper boil, but it's not. But uh, there's a wash. There's a few boats. Over there, around this corner. There's a boat over there. There's a fish finder. I got two impact slashes up. I got the bone and the blue. Blue's over here. The bone's over here. Uh, I'm seeing things breaking water right there. But there's probably gizzards. I saw a couple of them come up out of the water, and I saw that little fork tail. Gizzards. Okay, that was definitely a gizzard. It's all fork tail. So, but I'm sure there's some striper down there somewhere. So I lost Mark. It's back behind me. Somewhere. So I gotta find him. I'm gonna turn around. I'm just gonna run up through here one time and turn around. I gotta talk to the guy that's uh, that bought the little Titan, and uh, I talked to the guy that's bringing me the new one. Figure out what's going on, and uh, hopefully catch a fish, kill the April skunk here. This is the only day I'm gonna have to do it before I go back to work for five more days. So we're still going, and I'm like, I'm like three miles from my Jeep right now. But there's another gizzard. They're freaking everywhere. It's not that bad. I could have got here quick, fast, and in a hurry if I'd have just kicked this thing down. But I trolled all the way here. Didn't get anything. Had a couple bumps, but who knows? Could have been just because of the carp over there. Or they're really thick. So it could have, they could have been just running into it. There's so many of them. Another one. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to be on the water. It's going to turn bad tomorrow, though. There's a full ton of boats in the wash. One there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. They're just all boats. There's probably 20, 30 boats up there. So I'm going to troll on out of here. I think those are all gizzards. I know the ones that are jumping around me are. But, uh, there's a lot of fishermen. And it's Wednesday. But it's a gorgeous day. It's, everybody knows it's the last day before things are going to get bad. So that's why everybody's out here. So, But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go find Mark. That might be him right there. Um, trolling back towards the towards the boxcar. So we're about three miles from three miles from my Jeep right now. And we're cruising along at 1.6 miles an hour. That ah, freaking trolling motor is awesome. Yes indeed. So still going. 
have some pretty low expectations. I should have just went to Willow. But, uh, yeah, I didn't. I'm here. That guy's jigging right there. That might be the thing to do, but, uh, I did the right thing. I left half of my tackle in the Jeep. I don't know why I did that. I thought I had it. I thought I put it in here and I was talking to Mark and getting stuff ready and I set it in the back of the Jeep. That wasn't smart. Everything I need is in the Jeep to jig. But, yeah. Still going. All right, I lost three fish. Mark got two fish. It's about the most important thing in this video. Coming to saddle, all this area, it's a muddy mess. It's gonna take both of us to get these kayaks out of the water. It took two of us to get, to get them this far. But, well, while they're sitting right side by side. Here's the difference in the brand new, brand new big rig. There's no removable pod in this one. And there it is in this one. That gray area is a removable pod. So if you want to do something crazy like paddle it, they have a pod that you could put in there. It's got a little storage hatch in it. But like I said, I can't imagine trying to paddle this thing. Uh, yeah. This is, I mean, we're right there. And uh, this is like the hardest evolution I've ever been through this thing. So anyways, if you like what you saw, like it, subscribe, give it a share. I'm actually a little dude over somewhere. Lower right hand side of your screen, I think he's over there. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna throw a little picture of the thing that's showing up today or tomorrow at the end of this. So I've had a lot of questions about them and I'm uninformed. So, and it's, they're supposed to be really good. So we'll, we'll find out and uh, I'll let you know. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you on the water.